categorized as a blue collar job but it is the most preferred piece of work for the people here in Rirundani, Kiambu County. It is the most tedious job one would ever think about. Technologies have risen and faded, but the efforts to earn a living is still but the same. They transform used iron barrels and other scrap metals to a variety of things, from kitchen pans to the art objects. <laughs> watu wanaipenda sana juu naona kama hii kitu uh, ijakuwa hapa naenda kuiunda sasa ikue yenye kama yenye likoaga hapa tende tupige rangi bosa furahi eh hivi kwa materials kila kitu iko na mahali na tumishagwa kama ni plastic soft inaunda kwa plastic soft plastic ngumu naunda plastic ngumu pande ya fiber tunaweka fiber all they wish for is an opportunity to display their products in local stores like supermarkets and exhibitions so as to seek the international market. <laughs> Ever heard of a business with no competition? Here it is. John Kaguli, aka the plastic man, has one of the most unique jobs in this sector. He modifies plastics to make car side mirrors and other essential car parts. <laughs> ya kumodify kila kitu kunda mata kunda mabampa zimepasuka ama kunda ile kitu yoyote ya gari imepotea imekosekana kwa soko This is a business that many people are not familiar with The plastic man says that the uniqueness in it is that he can modify plastics into human features Kama kukata ma side mirror vile unaona hii hakuna kio ndani sasa lazima tuweke kio irudi kwa side mirror Inazapangwa mtaunde ukisema tuunde picha huyu jamaa kwa nyuma yako tunazamunda kuje hivyo venye na plastic ama kama ni uhuru wanasema na tatu mvarishe nguo yake tumuunde tunazamunda hivyo eh kila kitu ya plastic hezi dushinda mbona ukachagua hii kazi eh hii kazi ndio watu wengi wajoage ndio maana nakoaga na pesa nyingi iko na like lazima ukwe na like lazima uende training like lazima yeah. skills ni talent yeah. ama ni ni training lazima ufanye training hii kazi tunataka tufunze hawa huyu jamaa amalize kujua kazi tutoke huku tuende Mombasa tufunze wengine tu ama tena tuende kwingine hivyo hivyo eh challenges zenye wewe unafikia ni gani challenge sana ni wakati unaona wakati kama umekosa material lazima uendee huko Nairobi uchukue tuseme hizi mavio ni kuzinunua lazima kitu inadusumbuaga ni material tu ni advice gani unaweza patia mtu huko nje like huko nje watu wanasema kuna makazi hakuna kitu yawezekana tusema kazi iko ni mtu ni watu wajajipanga sasa hii unaza tunaza tunaza sema acha tuunde vazi ya maua hapa vazi na zaundika ikuwe eh ama uko na nyumba iko na vioo za zenye zimejibendi hivi muta na za kuja kuwekea vioo kwa nyumba ijibendi venye nyumba imejengwa eh This is one of the businesses in the Jokali sector that uses brand new materials. This is the cutting, bending and assembling processes. It entails fabrication that uses materials by using high heat to melt the parts together. Majina inaitwa Ruben William Mwangangi. Nafanya kazi ya welder, so mean welding. For now, niko mwaka wa 8 years now. They say what a man can do, a woman can do better, but that is not the case here. Gender biasness is evident. According to research, one out of ten ladies are in this sector. On the other hand, they have permanent body damages, especially extensive eye damage due to emission of bright sparkles of light. <laughs> Mm. 
mwanamke kufanya hii kazi ni ngumu kwa ukifanya after kuchoma hapa ukienda kula lazima macho ikuume kuna vitu vingine ukua yani unakatakata mikono unaumia saidi saa alafu hakuna mwanamke anaweza kubali kukaribia hii moto kulingana na venye inawaka eh na availability of raw material like hizi chuma zenu ni brand new ama kuna scrap like kuna hizi chuma mzee hakuna chuma mzee zote ni brand new bei yake for now iko juu Eh ya wakati walifunga stream chuma ilibidi ikipande ikakuwa bikali. Eh tabii tunaweza kutunua ni lazima tufanye kazi. Tukipata kazi hatuwezi kaa bila ni kufanya kazi ya chuma iko juu. Eh ile kitu tunafanya hizi atuni wangi chuma moja ama mbili tunua rodi nzima alafu shaa mwaga tunafanya bei yetu ikiwe chini ndio tuweze kushindana na wazani wetu. They are however urging the government to give them an opportunity to work for the government. Uh, sometimes the chelewa cause stima inaweza kuja for example umepata kazi customer amekupatia kazi stima ikuje ipotee. So stima ikipotea wewe kumpea exact time lazima muongezee allowance ya 2 two days ama to one day. Ndio akija apate kitu yake imeisha. Kwa <laughs> na utachukulia kama ni kitu mbaya ndio ni kawaida ya kazi. So reason ya kwani hiyo ya macho ni mbona lazima ikuingie kwa macho. So wakati imeingia wakati inaenda kulala na hiyo mwangaza lazima ikusumbue. Lakini hizi mwangaza hizi nini mwangaza kama kitu kama unaona moshi. Moshi hiyo ziliwa na nguvu lazima ingie lazima tuwe na macho. Yeah. Ile ingine ni kwenda kudila, kudila customer. Kuna makustomer wenye wanakuja, mtu wajalipa kitu wanasema atekenezewe, ukija kumudaisha ni shida, atai kudaishwa. Anakuja, yani awa munaangana, utakuja siku fulani, ikifika wajakuja na wajakuja kuzake. So inakuja kuwa, pesa yako ulieka hapo, na badu mekwa mwa hapo. Kwa hivyo, kuna ile perception, ati nini uwelders, amnesoma? Ile kitu naza mwambia, ayitharao hii kazi juhi ndi ofisi, na inaweza shinda mmoja kwa ofisi. Juu unaweza na kwa ofisi kwa siku pate 500 mimi nipate dhao. Kwa to make difference. Alafu hii kazi si lazima uamka ile matama saa kwenda kwa ofisi mapema ama uharakishwe ama ni nini. Hii ni yako wewe mwenyewe mjinao umejiajiri. So ndio advantage ya hii kazi. Given an opportunity. Uonge like when dress gava kwa like kuambia gava. Kwa sababu ni game ya shida zenu. Unaweza waambia shughulikie kazi gani kubwa ni nini mradi? Eh, ile shida ya kuna kubwa ya kukosa kazi kama kuna party ni zategewa ya watu wajua kali tupate kazi kwa government tupewe like a contract tufanye inaweza kuwa mzuri kwa hizi zinafanyanga na watu wa nyumba yani tunafanya kazi ya kazi ya binafsi ya mtu mbinafsi serikali hakuna mali atopea kazi ile kitu ninazotaka ni watufungulie hata kama ni kampuni ya watu wajua kali waeko huko na waziekwe waziekwe ile ya ati huyu amesoma huyu hajasoma waangalie nini experience ya mtu inaweza kuwa mzuri ya jibu na wengine wako huko chini wengi wako kwenda shule kufunga walifunga na wakajua so tukiangalia nini nini ya huyo mtu venye anajua kazi hiyo inaweza kusaidia day in day out Technologies advance and new strategies emerge. In our homes, kitchenwares are an essential. Over 100,000 homes in Kenya use ceramic jikos. It is an aid to reduce fuel consumption. Mimi naitwa Simon Kerry. Mimi na mtegenezaji wa majiko, yani nafanya kazi ya jua kali. Hapa jua kali tutengenezaga hizi jiko na vitu vingine za kupika. Vitu zinahusiana na kupika 
na mambo ya mabati mambo inapikana inahusiana na kupika na tena uh, ikuwe ni ya mabati hiyo ndio kazi yangu sana sana nimespecialize nayo na umefanya hii kazi yako for how long hii kazi nimefanya takriban miaka sita saba hiyo ndio muda nyenye nimefanya as technology advances new cooking techniques emerge and that leads to the decrease of using ceramic jikos. Recently, we had the emergence of jiko koa, which has been classified as the world's greatest saving jiko. Kuna vitu kama gas, unapata bei yake inateremka. Kuna vitu kama koko. Kuna gas zingine zinakuja unapewa tu mbuli wewe tu ni kuweka gas. Stima tena kunayo. Kuna vitu zingine kado zingine za kuni. Kuna vitu zenye zinachipuka kila siku zenye zini za kupika. Sasa unapata nayo haiedi sana kama kitabo. Just the other day, Safaricom introduced the Safaricom gas that is given out to people at a very lower price and refilling it is even cheaper than buying charcoal. This has become the greatest challenge to the Juakali Jiko makers. So concerning e competition kwa koko hizi safari kwa vipi ndipo mdogo dogo gas yes so, mnahandle mnakupa hiyo competition hiyo kitu moja ni kwamba hizo vitu sio jiko kwa jiko yenyewe inatumia makaa na hizi zingine zinatumia zinatumia gas unapata hizo vitu ziko na bei ya juu ukiliganisha na jiko hii hizi tuna udaga sasa unapata tunaperekana tu kwa sababu yetu iko bei cheap na zile ziko bei expensive so unapata bado tuko tu kwa, kwa soko yes availability of room at this like kuna wakati mnapata room at this sana like kwenye walikuwa wamefunga scrap metals mlikuwa mnakupa uh, materials hiyo ni tunapataka sana sana yes kwa scrap metal hiyo ndio kitu hiyo ndio main source ya hizi vitu ndio uweze kuiuza chip lazima upate material mahali yenye iko iko chip <coughs> ndio uweze kuzitengeneza <coughs> kwa hivyo source ni scrap metal <coughs> na eh, mainly <coughs> nisema mainly ni scrap metal hiyo ndio main source sasa ukipata zimefungwa unapata kuna shida kama hii ni scrap eh so bei ya hii na ile ingine utatengeneza na scrap zitakuwa different sasa unapata yenye ni ya mabati mpya kabisa ni iko na bei ya juu kiasi kwa sababu hata mabati mpya iko na pesa ya mingi kuninunua kwa hivyo nayo product lazima ikuwe na pesa mingi yes the people's perception hapa nje ya kuleti hii jiwakali industry ya watu wajasoma so what would you say about mambo ya nini mambo ya 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 kuwa watu ni wanachukulia hii kazi kama ni jiwakali i think hiyo kitu imekuwa ikieda ikiisha kwa sababu hata serikali unaona imeleta hii mfumo wa CBC kwa sababu hapo awali ilikuwa inachukuliwa ni kama watu hawajasoma lakini mainly tunapata si ati ni mtu hajasoma ah ah ni vile talent yake haiedani na white collar iko kwa hizi kazi za jua kali sasa unapata mtu huku diko anashika vizuri na hiyo kitu unaona hata serikali yenyewe imeona hiyo kitu ni ya muhimu na ni ya maana si kusema kama hujaeda na white collar you are useless unakuwa wakati mwingine sasa unapata mwenye amekuja jua kali kama hakueda white collar yeye na yeye amebarikiwa na kona kipawa baada ya baada ya, ya jua kali unapata mambo iko sawa alafu kuna ile perception ya the jua kali kubwa na credibility as it would have been is that true eh kukuogea ukweli ni kusema ya kwamba nikusema ya kwamba nikusema ya kwamba ukikuja jua kali hakuagi sana sana na vitu vitu complete kama kwa supermarket ama kwa kwa showroom showroom unaenda unapata kitu imeisha lakini jua kali unapata 
unaweza pata vitu zimeisha ama wewe kuligana na chenye unataka unapata lazima upeane onda muogee chenye unataka ndio uudiwe sasa hiyo hapo ndipo delay inakujaga unapata pengine mtu amewekelea deposit amepeana pengine deposit kidogo yenye haiwezi kamilisha kazi yake sasa unapata imeleta shida lakini mambo ya dri ni vile tu hata ukieta kwa kampuni ama kwa mambo mengine unapewa muda wa hiyo kitu kuisha iko na muda hiyo ni vile tu watu wanaonanga ni kama kuna dri lakini hakuna dri kwa sababu kuja uweke kitu yako na time mzuri hiyo kitu itaisha wakati mzuri hivyo ndivyo kuna kuwa hmm. sana sana <coughs> hawa customers unapata aina mingi sasa unaweza pata customer wazuri, customer mwenye mnaelewana, mwingine ako na mambo yake, mwingine ye makosa ni yake lakini hataki ku accept. Mwingine kitu yenye anataka, anataka kitu na bei na bei kidogo kushida ile inastahili. Sasa unapata hiyo tofauti na kwa biashara mingi hiyo hupatikana. Yes. Mtas, mta, how do you come to a kama biashara customer ni your boss customer is your boss kwa hivyo mimi kama sisi hatuedagi na ile customer is always right no hiyo hatutumiangi but ile kitu tuli kwa sababu customer anaweza taka kitu lakini hiyo kitu haiwezi work vile anasema hata kama ni right ye yeah, ni right kwake lakini ukitengeneza hiyo kitu vile anataka haiwezi work kwa unapata hiyo right yake una hiyo doa lakini unasemanga sisi tunasemanga your customer is your boss kwa hivyo lazima umtuze um, um, na umpelekee umpeleke pole pole kama ni mtu wa makasiriko umpeleka pole pole mpaka muelewane mvumilie mpaka muelewane The beauty of some of the things we use at home are made from waste products. The skill of reusing them and making them products that can be used again is an art that is practiced locally. County government in Nigeria in any way. Ah, county government matakwa zao yes wanaweka hiyo kitu wanasema wanasaidia watu lakini zile vitu wanahitaji ndio upate hiyo loan ni vitu zimezidi watu wajua kali. Yes, unapata iko juu sana wanataka title deed wanataka collaterals wanataka nini na unapata sasa kwa jua kali uweze pata hizo vitu kwa haraka kwa hivyo inakuwa challenge nyingine kwa hivyo hatuwezi sema hiyo inasaidia sana getting formal employment is the greatest challenge the youth are facing in our country therefore venturing into creative industry could be of great help to reduce the gap of unemployment eh mwenye anaweza kutaka kujoin jua kali jua kali ni industry mzuri ni industry ya kujitegemea ni industry iko sawa na mwenye anataka kuingia ako free kwa sababu ni kitu yenye haisubui watu wewe ukuja umejiajiri unaendelea na product zenye unategeneza una advance mpaka mahali haina maha, haina mwisho wa kuadvance ni wa advance wa advance mpaka mahali unataka na pesa utapata kuligana na ile kazi unafanya